Hello, and welcome back to What's Bubbling at Zim. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at a keyboard shift. Let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com, and we'll press on Examples and go to the keyboard shift example right here. This is a Zim text input, and normally we don't have editable text on the canvas because the canvas is a big picture. So for the longest time, we had a text area, which was an HTML text area tag overlaid on the canvas, and that's still around. And actually, that will also uh, work with the keyboard shift here. But uh, a while back, a few, few Zims ago, we introduced the Zim text input, which is single line at the moment, but anyway, it allows us to type in text here, but it's actually a canvas text. Uh, element itself. So that means we can overlay things on it and it's you know, it's a bit more solid. However, it does use an off, uh, an out of view text field to sort of um, guide what we're doing here on the canvas. So kind of a neat system. However, that neat system does not bring up, uh, does not lift the canvas when the soft keyboard is on mobile. So that's what we're doing here now. Are you ready? We're going to type here. So this is pretending we're on mobile. I put, oh, the focus in. And look at that. The whole stage has been shifted upwards so that the soft keyboard would now fit down in here. And I can start typing. And when I take focus off, then the whole stage goes back down. Yay! So once again, if I come in here to edit it, I can do editing and leave the focus and it, it goes back down again. So here's how to implement that. We're using Zim 014 right there. We have a text input. So this is the text input and we've set keyboard shift true. So on mobile, if you're on mobile, that will start the shifting. Uh, if you're not on mobile, it won't do the shifting. So we forced mobile by saying M is true. So Zim, Zim has M, which is either true for mobile, well, it's actually iOS or Android for mobile, or it's um, uh, false if it's if it's not mobile, if it's desktop. So we've just sort of forced mobile, basically, right there. Anyway, that's great. So if you want that effect on your mobile, then you can set that to true when you add your text input. We're going to see how that goes, and maybe in the next version of Zim, we'll set that to true as default, as long as it's kind of working for everybody. But this is... Uh, probably the safest route to go right now. Just make sure that um, that that technique of lifting the stage is a good one. <laughs> As it's kind of like, hmm, how can we do this? Well, what if we lift the whole stage? And most people don't do that. And there are some ramifications to that. So don't don't always go playing around with moving the stage about. But uh, I think um, I think we managed. Okay, I'm happy. Are you happy? And I am Dr. Abstract. This has been a What's Bubbling at Zim, where we're going through all of the new things with Zim 014 at the moment. Check out the other bubblings as well. Come visit us at zimjs.com slash slack, zimjs.com slash discord. We'd love to hear from you. Cheers.